So as I've mentioned in the last couple of videos now, I had the chance to go out to Chicago thanks to WB Games and had an opportunity to get early access with Mortal Kombat 1. A big thank you to WB Games for flying me out for this opportunity. I got to try out the first chapter of the story mode and then jump into the brand new invasions mode. But the most important thing is, well, I got the chance to play a new character in Mortal Kombat 1, that being Kung Lao. And when I jumped into invasions, I also got to check out the new Cyrax cameo. And I had a decent almost two hours straight playing as Kung Lao. The first chapter of the story mode is actually Kung Lao himself, and I had quite a bit of time to jump into invasions and really sink my teeth into that mode. So what I wanted to do today is go over my first impressions, my first thoughts on getting to play as those characters. And of course, if you're hyped for Mortal Kombat 1, if you cannot wait to play as all the characters that are going to be on this roster, scroll down, hit the thumbs up button. Okay, so the first thing that I'll say about Kung Lao is that this is a character you're definitely going to feel familiar with if you played Kung Lao in the previous games. He's got a lot of the stuff that you'll recognize immediately, but he's got a couple of tricks up his sleeve, which I found to be very interesting. And for me, he was actually out of all the opportunities where I've had to jump in and play Mortal Kombat 1. He's the first character where I was able to pick up on some things fairly quickly. He's got some easy to learn strings and one of which that pops you up. It's a back two four. And funny enough, that actually wasn't in the move set. We just found it randomly. So big shout outs to Kenny or Unruly, as you may know him. And then Maximilian dude for giving me the heads up because once you get that launcher down, it's pretty much smooth sailing from there with Kung Lao. There's a lot of combo potential that you open up. What I inevitably learned is that you can hit the back two four twice and then you're easily getting 30% without too much of a problem. It's the dive kick where advanced players are going to have so much fun with Kung Lao because of course the aim here is to miss the opponent in the air with the dive kick so you land on the ground quicker and extend your combo. He has a special, if I'm remembering correctly, it was down back two or down forward two where you grab the opponent and you kind of punch them on the top of the head. If you meter burn that, it is actually a hit stun so then you can continue your combo to follow up from that it doesn't necessarily restand as as soon as you hit them if they've already been off the ground they're going to jump up off the ground but still it's a great opportunity to get some flashy combos off and just extend them for a little longer what i'm starting to learn is that in mortal kombat 1 a lot of characters do a very similar thing when it comes to their combos you know for Liu kang it's the back two three you're gonna hit that twice and then maybe call in a sonya cameo and boom next thing you know you got 40 percent damage out there and with kung lao it's his back two four you're gonna pop them up into the air do that twice and easy peasy 30 percent like it's nothing now granted they're not all the same like i feel like lee may combos are very intricate johnny cage's combos are of course absolutely insane but with the limited characters we've had to choose from some of them do a very similar thing even with sub-zero depending on which cameo you're gonna use a bnb is just hitting the back two twice into whatever follow-up and i'm not necessarily complaining for me i don't mind it at all easy to perform combos are fine by me I'm a filthy casual at heart, but I'm certainly interested in seeing what more of the pro players are going to think when they get their hands on the full roster in Mortal Kombat 1, and I'm also interested in seeing what the full roster feels like. It's really hard to judge. We've only gotten to play as now, what, seven characters out of the 24 character roster, and in this case, with the Cyrax cameo, we've only played as five different cameos. And I think this is a good time to transition and talk about that Cyrax cameo, because this was one I was very, very excited for. Like I said, Cyrax and Sector are some of my favorite characters in the history of Mortal Kombat. I love all the Lin Kuei stuff, and the Cyber Lin Kuei certainly apply to that as well. Plus, what we got to see of the Cyrax cameo in that Lin Kuei trailer for Mortal Kombat 1 seemed very nice. But I'm going to be completely honest here, I was pretty disappointed with the Cyrax cameo, and it's the first cameo I've tried where I was like, I don't know if I see the use out of this. He needs one major buff, and then I'll feel so much better. And that's the fact that, unless I was doing something wrong you couldn't just do a string into the net and have it combo the startup on the cyrax net cameo move is slow enough for your opponent to be able to block if you try to combo into it and it also just completely takes you out of action it's one of those cameo moves where you cannot move when you call it and i just don't know how to feel about it for me the change that needs to happen here is that it needs to be one of those cameo moves that you can call in the middle of your combo while you're still performing your combo because it's already going to scale your damage a whole bunch anyways so why not make it so so that we can actually do something with it because otherwise you're just throwing it out there and hoping that your opponent gets caught by it on like a jump in or something and then there's also the cameo where he self-destructs and i'll be honest i still didn't find much use in this or at least it didn't seem practical enough to perform several times in a match maybe i'm using it wrong maybe there's something there's some secret sauce there that i just didn't find because again there was only a limited amount of time where we had to play with these characters but at face value i really wasn't feeling the cyrax cameo unfortunately there is 
one more move that seems useless, but actually Cyrax is one of those cameos that has a secret fourth ability. You see, I believe if you just hit R1, he's going to do this spinning move where he's going up in the air. Ideally, the way you're supposed to combo into this is having your opponent off the ground already, or in some cases, it could be an anti-air. But you see, if you hold R1, and unfortunately, I didn't find out about this until later, he'll do that same spinning move, but horizontally, so across the screen. So, you know, similar to the cameo move that Frost already has, it does some pretty crazy chip damage and also has some insane pushback. It is the one and only, at least for me, ace in the hole that the Cyrax cameo has. Other than that, it's not a cameo that I think I'm going to be jumping at when I get my hands on the full game. Granted, this could be something that's already been buffed by the time the full game comes out on September 14th for the premium owners or September 19th for the people who are getting the base game. So I'll try it out one last time when the full game is out but if it's the same as what i got to play during this build i'm not the biggest fan i'll be honest like i said though kung lao is a lot of fun for the most part that character was really working for me and i was picking up on a lot of fun combos that you can perform with him i think the only thing i was a little bummed out by is that he doesn't have a proper spin launcher and he also doesn't have the teleport as far as i could tell but that is obviously because the spin and the teleport were saved for the kung lao cameo still though don't fret kung lao can do a lot in this game he even has a forward four that it's hit stun now granted it has no range and you're super crazy punishable if you're gonna whip it or if it's blocked but if you catch your opponent with just a raw forward four you can dish out a ton of damage with kung lao and again i couldn't thank wb games enough for flying me out to chicago and getting me early access with mortal kombat 1 it was a lot of fun getting to play as these characters i do kind of wish because we were totally allowed to just jump in and play regular 1v1s against the computer that way i could just lab straight up raw matches with kung lao or even the cyrax cam but I was just so sucked into the invasions mode. And I mean, yeah, I got to play as the characters through invasions as well, but it's hard because you got some modifiers in certain matches. Or sometimes you're doing like a test your might or a survival challenge where you're just dodging projectiles. You're not always getting to play as both these characters in just like a regular match. But I do see a lot of potential in Kung Lao. I'm looking forward to seeing what the pro players are going to do with him. And I would love to be proven wrong about the Cyrax cameo. So I am also hoping that the pro players had the secret sauce that I was missing out on. Or as I mentioned before, I hope he gets buffed by the time the game comes out and the last thing that i actually wanted to mention you may have seen this all over the place online last night there is a classic cameo fatality for cyrax and it is amazing let me just play it for you here But anyways, with that being said, let me now kick it to you guys. Sound off with your thoughts in the comments section below. What do you think about Kung Lao and Cyrax cameo in this game? And once again, a huge thank you to WB Games for flying me out to Chicago, for allowing me the early access from Mortal Kombat 1 so I could play through the first chapter of the story mode, try out Kung Lao, and check out Invasions. And with that being said, I've been Caboose, and I'll see you guys later.